Hi everyone, welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. I'm Ian Gibson, your host for this evening. Joining us on the line, we have Will Crosby's. Is that right? Uh, yes, uh, it is Will Crosby's. Yes, that's correct. Uh, C R O S B Y apostrophe S, I believe. Uh, yeah, with an umlaut. Do you think you could put an apostrophe in your legal name? Like not as like if you had a kid, if you could put an apostrophe in their name. I'm gonna look that up real quick. A thousand percent. Um, Will, also, I, I saw your camera. It looks good. Okay, good. Can you see this? Where I'm making the stretching symbol? Where I'm. Uh... Uh, no, because I had to switch off the live stream because it kills my internet when I watch it. And wow, really? Don't you have new internet? What's your new internet speed? Uh, it's sixty up or sixty down. Oh, how much are you paying but, for yeah. that? Uh, not that much actually. It's pretty cheap. Man, you're a streamer, bro. You gotta get more than that. I know. I just uh, <clears throat> get that old still. Apostrophe in your name can cause a world o trouble. This is an article title in the Denver Post. It can stop you from voting, destroy your dental appointments, make it difficult to rent a car or book a flight, even interfere with your college exams. Oh, yeah, of course there's an apostrophe in names. O'Connor, D'Angelo, O'Dowd. There's plenty of names that have apostrophes yeah, true. in them. Anyways, um, sorry for that delay. Uh, just looking up apostrophe, just looking up legal names. Guess what we're playing today, Will? It was your idea. Um, a Viscera Cleanup Crew. All right, that's going to do it for uh, this week's stream. Uh, I will never, I will never play that game again. It's a bad yes, game. Yes, will. Yeah, it is. A I, bad. Um, I read an article recently from, it was an interview with John Krasinski. And he was talking about he has stopped calling any movie a bad movie because Paul Thomas Anderson, like, politely took him aside at a party and said, don't, you know, like, filmmakers try their best. They may not make a good movie, but you shouldn't call movies bad because it kind of discourages filmmakers from t taking chances. We should discourage the Viscera Cleanup crew from ever yeah. playing a video game ever yeah. again. My takeaway from that is I'm going to still say things are bad because <laughs> <laughs> there are some people that need like a slap on the wrist to be like, no, you did a bad job here. You did a, I'm going to rub your nose in it. Oh, Man. Please. Yes, daddy. What? It feels feels kind of bad. That's an indie game, though. But still, <laughs> it's still. Anyways, um, um, we're playing. The room? I was going to hit. Oh, we didn't even say what we were playing. <laughs> it's okay. I just transitioned to it. I don't even know if there's anybody watching this. Pull my chats back up. So. Nobody watches this. Oh, Genus uh -oh. Phyllis here. Participation okay, trophies. Fine. I feel like that was, it, it didn't quite go to that extreme. But it was kind of the way of saying, don't discourage people by saying something they've done is bad. But at the same time, there are some something people... Something done is bad? I, I, I don't know. I'm getting real deep here, but I feel like part of it is sometimes you got to tell somebody that they've done something bad because they don't realize it otherwise. Anyways, we're getting deep here. Deep cuts. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to create this room if you want to join. It. By the way, we're playing Earth Defense Force 4.1. This was Will's idea. Um, it's a good game. It is a good game. I so my original plan was to play totally accurate battle simulator. Um, Will have you heard or seen of that game? Yes, I have. <clears throat> I'm just trying to find. Um, your, sorry, your I'm trying to get here. my. I keep. So for those of you who don't know, I just moved into a new apartment, and while there is furniture in this room, I don't. I haven't like put anything up on the walls, or there's no like no curtains, so it's still very echoey. No, and don't. I can hear it. I'm so offended right now because of my... because because you're apologizing for your echoey room when you know full well that my room is ten times echoey than yours. How dare That's you? True. How dare you call me out? But uh, mine's the like empty room echoey, not but my normal echo. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So is this you know, your room? When, like you're in a very empty room. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. I, I think I found your room. You're on mission 86, difficulty hard. There's three out of four players, and the room name is Big Dick's Welcome. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, no. I just created it, so you should be able to join now. 
Okay, all right, let me refresh. Oh, God. I forgot they don't like you using the mouse in this. Oh, I can't use any of my high-level weapons. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Wait, we're doing this mission? I feel like I should create the room because I have higher-level missions. Oh, right. Okay, you create the room then. Okay. Um, sorry, folks. It's going to take a little bit. I Let's... forgot that's what we did last time. Can I join okay. this guy named Beacon Bits? Two players, instant room, chat, mission. I'm on. Oh, mission make sure chat's right. disabled. Disabled, difficulty. You know what? I'm putting it on easy. Let's just breeze through these. Okay. It's named Subpixel Rally Point. Okay. Um. I'm going to be a ranger. I'm going to do... I still can't choose my high level stuff, but that's okay. How come I could last time? I forgot how wing diver works. Okay, and then... You know what? I'm going to be a ranger too, just because I haven't played this game in so long. Wow. Never mind. I have no ranger weapons. Yeah, I have a bunch. Oh, man. I forgot which ones are good. Discharge is Yeah. Awesome. And, you know, you got to be careful because some of these weapons are bad. They are just not good. Yeah. Uh, make sure to look at, like, rate of fire and reload yeah. time. I have these weird ones that fire, like, a very slow lightning ball that just, like, hovers in the air and does like selective targeted damage and it's just bad. B -b 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 -bad. Oh, bad. Double barreled laser gun. Oh, uh, Ian, I just got an email. Subpixel team just went on, uh, which just went live on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> I apologize, okay? I apologize. <laughs> Ian, I know you have that disease where you constantly <laughs> orgasm, but dude, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh, I picked a bad gun. Do you want to reset? No, we're good. Oh, this is where we left off. It was a stupid <coughs> shield, guys. Oh, yo, look at my. You ready for my weapon? Look at my weapon right now. Ready? Right. Are you a wing diver? Yeah. I okay, thought you were going rank. Oh, you didn't have any rank. That's fine. Okay. By the way, you got to go in to do damage. Oh, really? I don't know. I don't think I know how to play video games. Bro, wow, oh, he died no, like very that. quickly. Yeah, good job. There's another Goober over here. We, we played hard last time, I think. Did we? Yeah, because I remember using all the fancy weapons. Well, yeah, but then I don't think we finished the mission. No, we didn't finish this mission. This is what we I don't even off. know if we, if you and I played this mission together. We started it. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. right that guy's done. It's funny, I think I mentioned this last time, but I build uh, paper models of Japanese, like, buildings, and these uh -huh. ones are, like, absolutely uncanny to the ones I build. And it's, I either, that means Japan is so, like, same, or, like, the same company has 3D models. Oh, yeah, that one's done. Oh, no. Oh, I there's like, big guys over here. I have to walk through the streets. I know. But there there are giant walker guys over here. Katon said yes, but I don't know what that would be. It's not I'm going street. to get this walker all the way over here. Oh, whoa. Hello. Yeah, there's two of them. These guys remind me of... I'm oh, dead. Oh, I'm dead. What was that? You fired your big weapon, didn't you? Nope. Yeah, I no, you totally did. I did not. I think you fired like your have... airstrike. I don't have an airstrike, Ian. Oh, do you want to change weapons? No, I'm fine. I realize I'm, I'm, I'm like a very judgmental gamer. I think I think we I... weren't supposed to go that far. I think they far were that close. No, I think uh, I think. Do you have your audio or in-game volume turned up? 
Because I uh, think yeah, they were doing of. a mission, like, airstrike thing. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess I'll believe you. No, I only have my Stingray and my AF-14. Whoa, watch your language. AF-14. Is it weird that I didn't know ye yeet? I still don't know what it means, but I didn't even know it existed until PAX. Ye isn't yeet like yes? I don't, I don't know. I think it is. I'm pretty sure yeet is yes. Okay, I'm gonna stand off a little bit more. Yeah, did you hear that inbound airstrikes? Okay, well, I'm gonna stay back here then. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here. I haven't even shot in anything yet. You, you ain't shot in anything yet? Whoa. Well, wow, that was weird. Your building like blew up. Ow, ow, yeah. that hurt me. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. Okay, so we just stay back. Isn't there supposed to be like a marker for airstrikes? Um. See if I can turn uh, on some Let's go blow this quick. guy up. Oh, no, oh, no, we're in There's the red. red. We're in the red. Get out. Okay. Dang it. I was out of the red. Just so you know. It was like a carpet bomb. All right, I'm coming to get you. Oh, you know what it was? We had to take down the shield before the airstrike came in. But I couldn't even reach this guy. All right, so let's take down this shield. It's gonna be a bit iffy. You can't even get inside of it yet. You got it. It's down. Look at this guy his freaking sword arm. And an arm. Crazy. I'm guessing Please it's stop gonna- stop shooting me, sir. It's gonna bring another airstrike. You're the one hearing it, so just let me know. <gasps> Dude, we got a bunch Air of strike fun. Airstrike animation, she just said. I got them. Commencing air raid. Oh, it's next to me. God. Oh, everything's blowing up. Everything's blowing up. I really don't know what's happening. My camera is going oh. insane right now. Okay, it didn't, it, both the shields are down. Oh my gosh. That was insane what just happened. I need some help. That There's a help. bunch of lancers that spawn. I'm way over here though. Actually, there's no health. Go away from me. Excuse me. Well, there's something over there. There it is, I see it now. You see the stuff over here? You're going to grab it? Yeah. I can't, yeah. like, move at all. I'm down to, like, 25% health. Yeah. Let's see. This, uh, F-14 is real good. Man, those explosions are dope. We should, uh, we should play the new one, but... I, I don't understand these games. There's a, there was a new PS4 one that came out right when we started playing this for the first time. Yes. And then now there's a, is it DLC for the PS4 one? No, I, I heard it's a completely separate studio. And it's like a character Ooh. creator. I, oh, yeah. we should buy that. Okay, um, I think we focus on the shield guy behind you. Yeah. Ian, I'll let you know your Yakuza 0 made it, uh, safely through the move. You started it yet? No, not yet. That's I'm, one of my favorite games of all time. It's so good. I'm trying to figure out. So I still have to finish Divinity Original Sin 2. Like, I just finally got set up, so I, I haven't had time oh, to, like, okay, yeah. play video games. Um, but every night before bed for, like, a half an hour, an hour, I've been playing In the Breach. Yeah, that's um, a good, that's a good just time waster game. Yeah, I'm really yeah. enjoying that, and I also bought Enter the Gungeon because it was on sale. Yeah, I didn't mean to. It was seven fifty on the Nintendo Switch. So you know what? Oh, really? I'll buy it. It might still be. Um, so I bought that, but I 
it's weird. I've had a huge craving um, to play some Zelda. Like some Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Yeah. You know what I, I came to? I don't want to say realization, but I like... I just kind of admitted it to myself that it's okay. It's okay for me not to not finish games that I like and enjoy playing. Like Final Fantasy VII, I'm not sure that I'm going to play any more of it, even though I'm like six or seven hours in and I've been enjoying it. It's okay. I don't have to force myself to finish it. It doesn't mean I don't like the game. You know? Yeah. No, I, I agree with you. It's like Divinity Original Sin is probably one of my favorite games I've ever played, and I'm yeah. in, in, I just started the second act. Like, if I don't finish that, I think that'll still make my crazy top two for this year. Yeah, exactly. So, it's just something I've had to admit to myself. I'm like, you know, you don't have to finish a game to be considered a good game, you know? Right. But it's the same, I think it's the same with, like, I've I've never sat down and played a lot of Dwarf Fortress, but I have oh so God. much respect oh for it God. that I no, love see, it. That's that's different though. No, this see that is game. you've never played the game. No, I played Dwarf Fortress. Well, I'm not very good at it because I haven't spent that much time. Hey, we won. Yeah. Um. Hey, great job. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's some games that I feel like I have to finish. Yeah, but see, I think I'm, I'm pulling myself away from that. I feel like I, I enjoy a game. I play 25 to 50% of it. And then I, I, my enjoyment of the game starts to go down simply because I'm forcing myself to finish it. It's like, True. I enjoy this game, but I'm not enjoying the end slog. And it's not because of the game. It's just because of me okay, not necessarily I, wanting yeah, to play I, it anymore. You know? Yeah, I guess there's a difference. Like, I, I I forgot about the aspect of like the game is like you don't want to finish the game, but you still love it. Yes. Because I was gonna bring up like, like I finished Oberdin even though I was kind of frustrated with it, but it wasn't at the point where I didn't want to finish. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the thing is like, I'm trying to think of some other examples where there's just games that I have forced myself to finish and it's actually degraded my enjoyment of the game. And the only reason why I'm forcing myself to finish it is because I feel like I'm not allowed to fully like or appreciate the game unless I finished it. And oh, I, I gotcha. I'm, I'm telling myself, you know what? It's okay to play a game, like it, enjoy it, and not finish it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for the left guy first. Is there fall damage in this game? So you see the nests on the um, on the ground? Oh uh, yeah, those are gross. So I'm gonna go to the left, I'm gonna drop the shield, and then I'm gonna drop back out. Just be prepared to uh, fire on the, uh, the shields down. Shooting rockets, so we have to blow up the nest? Yeah, we blow up the nest. I'm going after the shield on the left. Okay, I'm shooting at the nest. Now I'm shooting at the ants. There's a lot of ants. Um, what else have I been playing? But yeah, I've got, it, it's mainly spurred by there's so many teases of uh, N64 games and games coming to Switch that I've had like cravings to play some uh, SNES games, especially ones I've never played before. Like, I really want to go through and play Act Razor. Uh -huh. I've heard it's really good. Um, Act Razor has gonna... like the semi RTS stuff. I played it a little bit. It's it's weird. Yeah. I didn't really get into it, but it, it definitely seems like a crazy weird game. Oh boy. I wanna. This seems count to what we were just saying, but I want to force myself to play. Oh, through, oh uh, now you said through. Gotcha. Some SNES games. Not be like I'm not saying um, it's because they're bad, but it's because they're older that they don't have all the quality of life things modern games do. Yes. But yes. I want to try to get the appreciate get to the appreciation point in a lot of those older games. Yeah. So let me tell you about um I played and finished 
and beat Mega Man 2. But I played it in such a way that I abused the sweet bejesus out of safe states. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, as far as the classic games tended, I am 100% on board with it. Yeah, like, I was literally, like, having, using this, like, reloading 10 times per screen in Mega Man 2 because I wasn't good at it. But it yeah. let me finish that game and see all the bosses and get to the end of it and really appreciate that game. Yeah. Uh, speaking of save state and scumming games, what are your thoughts on the, the Sekiro accessibility versus difficulty? So, th th so I, I've been trying to follow that, but I feel like there is a fundamental misunderstanding of accessibility and difficulty because those two terms are not synonymous and everybody keeps uh, exactly. arguing like they are. Where it's like people are like, well, I don't think they should have difficulty settings. And then other people say, are you arguing against accessibility? And it's like, no, that's not what they're saying. Let's try to pick up all this stuff before the Oh, game. yeah. Oh, God. Um, I've I got think we still have it all. I don't think we do. Um, so that's the thing. I I don't know. I, I yeah. have not mentally engaged as fully with that debate because people are just fundamentally conflating accessibility and difficulty as it fits their own argument, if that makes sense. So for example, like Ben Pack posted about how he doesn't want difficulty levels in Sekiro because it's all about the challenge and rising to the challenge. And then because he's viewing it as a difficulty, whereas other people are viewing it as, well, it's an accessibility argument. And so therefore Ben Pack is saying that people who have difficulty accessible access dif, difficulty with accessibility controls in gaming should not be allowed to play Sekiro. And it's like, that's not what he said at all. You know? Right. I don't know right. if I'm making I, sense I, here, I, but it's just like, it feels like the, it almost feels like the gun control debate in America where you are constantly building straw men of your opponent simply to set them on fire in the public yeah. and get people to cheer for you. And it's like, there is no, there is, v the discourse is so low level disrespectful of the other side that there is no actual debate or argument going on. Right. Like my feeling is like, and this is without, this is the ideal world is that everyone who picks up the video game is at the same quote unquote starting line when they go to play. Like me with my two arms and full capacity of my body holding a controller should be the exact same starting point as someone who has who has the Microsoft controller uses their chin to hit the A button on their whatever yeah. crush pad or anything versus difficulty that is relative because we're all at the same starting po input starting point yes yeah, because I, I, I know someone who is exactly like me, who's a lot better at Dark Souls than me, um, but I, we still get the same enjoyment out of Dark Souls. Yeah. Or any of the front software, you know. Um, anyways, I think, that, um, I, I think Celeste did it really well, where they basically said, like, hey, we have a default difficulty level, it's pretty difficult. But if you want to turn on these assists to help you, it's understandable. Yeah. And uh, I, um, I, I never turned them on I, because the, the difficulty of the game was so welcoming and the game was designed, you know, you die, there's a, what, a one second load screen and then you're back in the exact same screen. You yeah. don't really lose a lot of progress. I didn't know there were those options until I, this argument came up. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things where it's like, those are made for me because I'm bad at platformers. I, I only made it halfway through Celeste and I had over a thousand deaths, but I never felt the need to turn on those assists or change the difficulty, yeah. so to speak, because the game was so welcoming in the challenge, you know? Yeah. And I think that's, well, that's yeah. part of it is like game design, whereas like Dark Souls and Sekiro are just like extremely punchy to the point where they're like, it's not just that you die, it's that we have to make you suffer for it. And that's yeah. something that, when it coming back around to the Sekiro game specifically, I'm assuming they do the same thing where it's like, I know I messed up, but you don't have to be so punishing about it. Yeah, and uh, my, my main point is there's a difference between not being able to 
mechanically do something, like uh, like in game doing it, like you're just not good, versus yeah. physically your body is unable to do something because you're colorblind or you, you have a disease or something like that. Like yes. there's a huge difference between that. Absolutely, and and I agree. It's it's that everybody should have the ability to do the mechanical action and to adjust the control so that they can perform the mechanical action as, as necessary, as required yeah. by the game. But that yeah, doesn't mean that the game itself should remove the action right. or make the action because, itself easier. Exactly. Yeah, because some people were inserting, like, the fact that they modded the game to make it 50% slower or stuff like that as yeah. their own accessibility options, and I'm like, it's not it's, that's difficulty that's not a yeah, that's difficulty that's not yeah, your I, I, like again you're fine like people shouldn't scream at you call you horrible things on twitter for doing yeah that. yeah it's like it's like hey it's fine that you felt like you had to mod in difficulty settings but don't act like that is part of the accessibility argument right exactly. because it's not it is not part of the accessibility argument yeah yeah so now, now i'm glad we're on the same page here where it's like i don't even want to dive into that discourse because it feels like there's a fundamental Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head with the like the gun stuff in America. Like, there's just yeah. a fundamental misunderstanding of what, because everyone thinks everyone wants to gain something out of it. Yes. There's um, I listened to a really good podcast called The Fifth Column. It's a bunch of libertarian journalists. Um, and I just bring it up because I want to shout them out for this quote that I heard from them. And it was essentially this journalist or editor in chief for a newspaper. And he said that when you when you are writing an op-ed and you're arguing against somebody else's position, always argue against your opponent's best, most convincing argument, because that makes your own rebuttal of it much, much stronger and convincing. Mm -hmm. and, and it feels like with this whole difficulty, accessibility, and with like the gun control, etc., that fundamental premise of arguing against your opponent's best argument is just out the window. It's people picking the easiest most refutable misrepresentation of their opponent and arguing against that <clears throat> and that's very disingenuous yeah wow this uh, is a deep discussion man oh it's and no we're people. killing it we're killing oh, it alexander here is here but Hi, I, Alex. I don't know despite the whole discourse on that i have been i think once things settled with my move um i want to either dive into sekiro sekiro whatever it's called freaking called and um but also thinking maybe just go back and try to play through dark souls 3 oh, because three? i i own all three on different platforms i wanted to get the remaster when it's on sale i want to buy the remastered of one but i heard three like most fans of dark souls just say three is the best quality life experience the best story as much as stories in a Dark Souls game, yeah. um, on the surface story, I should say. But I'm thinking of picking that up. Uh, I own it on Steam, but I might purchase it if it's cheap on Xbox One, just because it's easier. I've been um, thinking about playing one of those games for a stream because. Um, oh, Alex, I'll turn I'll turn the game play down real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, that should be much better. I I've wanted to. Uh, I wanted us to do some sort of dark content. I want to figure out something that would be cool. Well, I think it's this. I'm very bad at those games, and I think we should just stream me not even completing the games because that will not happen. It's just maybe one or two streams of me playing it and just being very, very bad at it. Oh, and I think it's, it's comedic me. in a way because I uh, will hurt me so I much. Played, this is my Dark Souls, uh, Souls born from software experience, right? I played the first game for about 10 hours. Um, the first, have you played Dark Souls 1? Yeah, I played the first game about, I made it, I think, halfway. So, you know, the, 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 not the, not the tutorial boss, but the first boss, like the demon on the bridge. Mm -hmm. I only made it past that guy because the very first time I came across him, um, he tried to attack me and he fell off the bridge. That's the <laughs> only reason why I made it past him. And then shortly after that, you go to the you go under the bridge, and then you go to the church. That's as far as I made it in ten hours okay. of play. So I'm bad at those games, pretty bad. So I've made it about halfway. I've made it to the under 
I forget what it's called. It's like uh, old or old um, something. Anyways, I made it there. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's like the four king boss. I that made it all the way there. Familiar. I didn't make it there. Dark but Souls, that, that sounds right. Um, so Dark Souls two. When I went to college, my buddy was very much into Dark Souls. He's the one who got me into it. And Dark yeah. Souls two came out that year, so I watched him play that entire game. Like I helped through it, all sorts of stuff. So I never hey, played um, Dark Souls real two. Quick, I'm, I'm just backing up so that I can try and feed them through this tunnel. Okay. Because it, they're just slowly coming up. And then Dark Souls 3, I bought the day it came out. Um, and did Dark Souls 3 come out first, or did Bloodborne come out first? Um, I think Bloodborne did. Okay, so Bloodborne, I beat. Um, I'm just, I'm very hesitant to play Bloodborne because of the frame rate drops on the normal PS4. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I played it. I never had problems with it. I... Okay. I beat Bloodborne 100%. No, 100%. I didn't do the personal bosses. So you actually um, have a lot of experience with From Software games then? Yes, and then Souls 3, I was about... I made it to the Ice Kingdom. I don't know how far that is in that game. So yeah, I, I really enjoy those games. That's another... Um, uh, I'll call it Dwarf Fortress-like. Like, like oh, the way okay. I talk about it, but I actually play most of them. Um, yeah, I, I have an unhealthy obsession. The um, I like to collect Dark Souls stuff, so I have like three versions of Dark Souls One, mm -hmm. and like I have the them collector's edition of Dark Souls Two. Um, but I think I have I have everything for like my 360, so I need to buy the versions for Xbox One. Are you still in the mission? Okay, now you're out. Yeah, I think I think the content is me playing Dark Souls 1. Not beating it. That would take too long. It's just me starting fresh and just showing how bad I am at that game. And just like, I think the content is almost me just getting frustrated because of how bad I am at it. I think we should do that. Okay, so um, let's talk about next week's stream because there's basically two things we can do. Um, sorry, let me just select my equipment real quick. Plasma grenade. Ugh, plasma grenade sucks. Okay, I think I'm good. So, next week's stream, on Tuesday, Dreams on the PS4 hits early access. And I think we should try to stream it. Oh, but I'm, man, I wish I was there. But I'm bringing this up as a caveat, however, because, excuse me. Um, apparently it's early access, but there are a limited number of slots. It's like normal early access where you buy into it. It's 30 bucks instead of the full 60 and that gets you a full mm -hmm. copy of the game. But I've seen on several articles that they have limited number of copies. So they're not letting, there's no restrictions on purchasing it. It's just at some point they will pull, pull it from the store. Oh, yeah, so it's kind of weird. So my point being, I'm going to try and buy it Tuesday. If I get that, we'll play that. And we'll kind of mess around, see what content is up there. I don't think I'm going to be too too much of a creator, just because I'm trying to create stuff with the controller is probably going to be awful, control yeah, scheme-wise. I get that and create stuff so badly. <clears throat> yeah, do you wanna, yeah. Are you prepared? What do you mean? Do you want to hit play? No, I'm just talking it through real quick. Um but before we start. our backup plan, and this is either going to be Tuesday if we don't get dreams or it'll be the following Tuesday, we're going to do a Gunpla live stream. I'm going to build a Gunda model on live stream. I'm probably not going to finish it, but I think we should have some fun just kind of showing off the model, playing around with it. Um, see how that goes, you know? How's that sound? That sounds good. I'm into it. I think is Gundam I love Gunpla. Yes, because Gunpla, Gunpla stands for Gundam Plastic Model. Oh. Hey, all these red arrow guys. Um, we can recruit them if we get close to them. How do you do it? You just get close to them like that. Oh my God, are we surrounded? Dude, this new gun I got it ricochets. Look at it. Oh, that's I don't perfect. Know if you can see all my blue bullets. <laughs> oh my, that's perfect. 
And it's more powerful than the other thing I was using. We are surrounded. This is terrifying. This is this terrifying. Why I just, does this happen in real life? God, that be... Well, actually, I'd be okay with that. I feel like you got enough goofy weapons in military that it's not, like, a depressing thing. It's more just, like, a super patriotic thing. You know, where you're not really scared. That's true. If this happened and it was our... Like, if it was this goofy alien bug stuff, but at the same time we had our normal military, we'd be screwed. Yeah, but what if this just happened, like, right now? Oh, boy. I mean, fun? I guess? Is that the word? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, we'd probably still build the wall, to be honest. Well, that's all the more reason to, am I right? Oh, <laughs> oh boy, just kidding. Sitting on the answer, Mexican? Huh? Okay. Okay, uh, bringing it back <laughs> around. <laughs> Anyways, disabled people. Should they play video games? <laughs> Should they be on the other side of the wall? I'm sorry, this is getting to... <laughs> Your news at 11. <laughs> Um, um, did we tell the folks that I thought yesterday was Tuesday? <laughs> no. Dude, I got home and was like, yeah, I'm ready to stream, messaged Ian on Discord, told my girlfriend, like, hey, uh, I'll help you bring girls in, but I'll be streaming, blah, 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 blah. It's like 9.54, and I'm like logged into the Subpixel account, and I'm like, why hasn't Ian changed anything? So I start <laughs> changing the stuff. Oh, and really? then I'm like, oh, it's it's Monday. Oh, so that's why it was partially uh, changed. Yeah, I appended my message to you, and then it was like, I'm so dumb. And then you, what did you write to me? We, Dude, we streamed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, please don't break me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. I think we're almost at the end of this mission. I don't know why I thought... It was Monday or Tuesday. I think Wolf has been messing with me. Um, I just want to say I love how creative we are with our streams. Me too. We're very smart. We smart. Uh, let's start picking oh, stuff dude, up. I, uh, my job, we're partnered with King Kong on Broadway. Oh my God. So I've been playing all this King. I, I made an advertisement that our host was being held by King Kong's hand. <laughs> it was so good. What? One of my favorite things made. Oh, good job, buddy. We're killing it. I think there's like 100 oh, missions armor. in this game. Okay, we gotta fight giant robots. So let me. You change this menu. What do I want? I want sniper weapons. Thunder sniper. Okay. Yeah, so long story short to uh, our one one or two viewers out there, next week is either Dreams or Gunpla. And the week after that is maybe Gunpla. Ah, oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, Gundam's good, man. It's pretty good. How many episodes have you watched of um, 8th MS? I'm like five minutes into the first episode. I've heard I that's really a very, much. very good one. But I think, I, I think I'm like three more series before I get to that one. According to the preferred yeah, so I think, timeline. Yeah, I think I'm just going to watch that. And then when I visit you, I'll have those Blu-rays. Yeah, the Blu-rays. The Blu-rays. I'm 15 episodes into the second series. The first series is good, but it's a bit too, like, Power Rangers-y, and every episode has to end with a battle. But you, uh, gotcha. you actually need to watch it because the second one is, like, six or seven years later, and all these old characters keep showing up, and I just keep tearing up because I'm like, oh, my God, they're grown up now, and they're married, and they have kids. Yeah. It's so, oh my god, I'm so happy for them. Children, children. Like, legitimately, like, happy for these characters. And I'm just like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. It's pretty great. Oh, 
Like these oh, robots yeah. just explode. I like how they just like flinch. I like the, the word load is not explode. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them by the way. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh man, we're okay. We gotta focus a little bit because there's a lot of them. I'm killing these guys over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm picking up this armor though. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's a guy back up. that way. Back. The way I'm Wanna shooting. focus him? Yeah. I'm just shooting my ricochet bullets. I thought we might be underground again, but. Okay. Clearly. So I think there's like a. Here, come back towards me. There's a guy down the road. But uh, as far as the anime, uh, I think I'll watch this little series. I was actually. Um, I convinced Karen that we should watch some Cowboy Bebop. I'm but sorry, Cowboy what? It. Cowboy Bebop? I'm sorry, what's it called? Isn't it Cowboy Bebop? I'm sorry, one more time. Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. Are you saying Beep Bop? Yeah. It's Bebop, like B E B O P, not B E P. Cowboy Bebop. No, no. It sounds yeah, like you're that's saying. That's what I'm saying, Bebop. Sounds like, it sounds like you're saying Beep Bop. No, I'm not saying Beep Bop. Yo, we Cowboy gotta back up, Goober. You're getting surrounded. We gotta go back in these buildings. Um, gotta, anyways. Gotta, no, really, you gotta back up, though. Why do I have to back up? You're surrounded by them. I'm not surrounded. They're all dead. Are they, though? No, they just exploded. Are they? You gotta calm down. Did they? Oh, you know, you may have gotten lucky where, like, one of them blows up and it blows up the other guys. God, there's Wait, a lot dude. of them. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna want. I think we might start watching that. That's good, and it's uh, it's only like 25 episodes or something. Yeah, I, I've seen all of it before. So. That was my first real anime. Besides Ghibli movies. Why'd you say they're all dead? You still got like. These are new guys. Ow. I'm saying I killed those that were currently around me. Jeez, this is too much. Are you okay? I, I like I haven't even gotten hurt yet. I, I'm a little hurt. It's just that every time I get hit, I get tossed. So then I can't really do anything, you know. Oh, this man's touching me. Please don't touch me. I did not give you consent. Okay, I'm gonna come back towards you. Ah, uh, this is good stuff. Um, though. what else? Uh, so anyways, uh, I think I might... I still want to finish watching Dragon Ball Z. But I'm actually, I really do like it. It's good. It's good. Someone I mean, who really no, uh, doesn't like anime. I've been watching it for like more it. than a year now. I'm only on like episode 120 or something. Like it's it's fine to take your time. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm only on 14. Um. Okay. Uh, there's guys but, behind you. Other than go. that, uh, not much. Yeah. I need. Um. I'm looking forward oh. to a day off so I can. Like, get my video game prospects in order. Hey, I'm going to start new, um, flying around collecting stuff, just so you know. Because we're getting towards gotcha. the end. There's a new terrible game. Oh, God. Um, there's a new what? No, there was a new game I grabbed off the internet that's sort of like a... Um, I hate to invoke this name again, but uh, oh. Dwarf Horde. Oh, um, called Cataclysm. It's like Cataclysm something it's on my dashboard or um, desktop but uh it's like an ascii art sort of thing horror game hey uh while you're going around killing guys don't kill the last guy yet because i'm gonna go pick up a bunch of stuff gotcha yeah i've been trying to get every robot um that drops stuff there's still like four or five guys left i know but they're, they're dying pretty quick ow 
Okay. Uh, there, I think there's two left, so I, I haven't. I'm not really touching them. Okay. I'm just gonna kill this guy next to me because he's annoying. Okay. Oh, you know what? Should... There's a huge bunch of stuff over here. Past you, rap. Yeah. So I'm flying around, so I gotta. Okay, you get that I'm stuff. Roll sideways to it. I'm gonna go down here. Oh um, yeah, there's one. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Wreckfest. Yeah, I saw you all on that the other day. It turns How's out that it's um so it's good. It's a really good mix of like arcadey and realistic racing, and it has like great damage physics to it. Mm -hmm. So, and the multiplayer is actually pretty good. So I play on this server where it's literally called twenty four seven dirty racing C class only. So it's like the lower end cars. It's called dirty racing, so people don't get mad when you're like literally ramming into each other. But at the same time, the physics model still requires you to be like hitting the apex of a corner properly and braking properly. So it's like it's like I start every race clean, but as soon as somebody slams into me, I go dirty and I just start running people yeah. off the road. And it's a lot of fun because um, because I've only come in first once, and there's usually at least twenty people on the server. But it's like. Even if I come in last, I still have fun just playing bumper cars with people. Are you using your racing wheel? No, no. I've thought about it, but I've just been using my 360 controller. God. Um, yeah, it's a good podcast I, uh, game. I, yeah, I remember when Wreckfest first came out. I um, I think Zach, uh, my brother, played it a bit. Um, I, was it Wreckfest? Wreckfest is the same as next car game, right? It, it, yeah, they changed the name to Rex Fest. Rex Fest. We're gonna kill this guy. Yeah, I think we're good. Nice. Um, yeah, it's and I think I got it on sale for like fifteen. It's normally like thirty or forty. I'm not sure I would pay that much. But it's just a good like relaxing car game, like a really good balance nice. between arcade and realistic. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Because it's a lot of um, it's it's like it's like demolition derby cars. So a lot of it is just cars that don't, cars that you are driving way above what they should be capable of, if that makes any sense. So it's a lot of, you're going very fast and then hitting the handbrake and sliding through turns, but it doesn't yeah. feel like an arcade drifting game. You still have to do it correctly. It's, 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 it's just like a really good mix of like arcade and realistic driving physics. We have confirmed enemy transport ships over the mountains. They appear to have dropped shield bearers. We will attack the transport ships before the enemy consolidates. All right, I just got to change my one weapon to the thunder bow. Change your weapon. Actually, I'm gonna change that to the thunder sniper. Damage 50 times three. So it doesn't do as much damage, but it's got a lot more range. Okay, yeah, boy. Right, I'm okay with that. Sorry, I just, I've realized it's actually important to change your weapons per the mission. Like, what's gonna happen? All right, let's take, yeah, out, the I... let's take out the ship first. If possible. Oh, I got a lot of rockets. Or maybe I should take out the shield, because it may not open up until it's... Yeah, you can get up there really fast. Okay, that's done. Ship's not done yet. We got bugs on the ground. I'm still working my way up. Okay, I'm gonna try and focus on this ship. Because that ship is gonna be yeah, very annoying. I think it's leaving. I think it's going towards the other shield. Oh no. That's ridiculous. I just got screwed by the energy mechanic. My I only needed two 
like I had 12 out of 14 shots in my magazine. So I reloaded, mm -hmm. but it, it did the full energy deplete instead of just like the, the two, instead of the partial energy deplete. Come on. Can you oh. go so much faster than me? I haven't That's even, I haven't killed a single thing yet. Because my class. Oh, there's bugs over by me. Sorry, I'm just trying to take down this ship, because if you don't take it down, it's going to keep dropping enemies. No, I'm, I'm definitely on board. I just can't catch up. Oh, God, this game's good. Get away from me, spiders. Dumbass spiders. Oh, Ian! What? You have run away from me. Oh, Just yeah, well, I'm, try spiders. I'm trying to take out these shields before. Because I, I. So the dropship is only vulnerable from below when it's dropping. But it's right, dropping it's inside the open. shields. So I, I have to drop the shields in order to shoot the dropship. So that's what I'm trying to do. Which way are you going? Oh, you faked me out. Don't it's worry, open. I'm getting if them. you can hit it, hit it. I'm sending all my good stuff in. Oh, come on. How is it not dead yet? I don't know. There's ants. I'm going to see if I can. Are you okay down there? Yeah. Dude, this okay. gun I have is incredibly good. The ricochet one? Yeah. It's as strong as the other gun I was using, but it fires 120 bullets super quick. Oh, nice. I really, really like the mini map in this game. Come on. Still nothing. Hey, yeah, I need your help destroying this ship. I, I don't think I I'm, put I'm, out the DPS. I'm shooting it every time. Oh, in the in the red. Yeah. I'm trying to just climb the mountain to get to you. What? Well, don't worry about me. No, I mean to get to the next spot. Oh well, it's moving around. I think you're just gonna always be behind. So I, I say just find a good spot. It's open. Yep. Come on. How is it not done yet? It's probably supposed to not be done. Well, but no, you can shoot him down. No, I know, but it might be part of this mission. I would hate that. Because remember that, that early mission where they just keep dropping until you destroy it? I feel like if they change that mechanic so that it's not destroyable yet. That is crap. I took the shield down. Thanks, babe. Okay. I think I may be coming towards you to open up. Feed me, Seymour. The ship go. You may be right. It's going towards the last shield. I hate that. Oops. Oh. Shit. 
shields down. Ship is still up though. Yeah, I think. There's so many. I just got an achievement. Mm. You know, I'm gonna start going to pick stuff up. Yeah. Trying to do that. Get all these armors. Yeah, I think the ship just flew away, to be honest. There's one guy left, so I'm not gonna kill him yet. Okay. He's at me, though. He's I found out the, um, did I tell you how the armor works? The armor pickups? As far as what? So, the amount of armor you pick up is divided by a number based on your class, and then that's how much you get added to your max XP that persists across missions. Oh. So like for wing diver, I think it's like divide by four. I think for the ranger, it's like divide by two. Gotcha. Ooh, I and then that's, that's, you know, so if I pick up four boxes, it gives me one HP to my max health. But anything we pick up goes to the other person, right? Yes, I believe so. Okay, I think, let me just pick up these last few boxes and I think we're good. Yeah, a couple things over here I want to grab. Oh boy. Um, so just to tease for anybody still watching this, we will have a new episode of Scanlines this Thursday and it will be our PAX East special. <sighs> I'm so excited. It's pretty, um, it's pretty chillax. I'm going to go ahead and give away the conceit. Uh, we took my eight millimeter, high eight millimeter camcorder to PAX East and we shot the entire thing on that. So it's very free form. It's very home movie feel. I'm only making cuts to the footage. I'm not doing any editing in terms of audio, in terms of after effects, anything like that. So it's just going to be raw camcorder footage cut to length in a way and rearrange slightly. So I'm so it's, pumped. It's just, it's like it's, I've been watching it as I've been editing it and it's just kind of like a nice little relaxing camcorder home movie feel type episode. It's not, there's like, there's not gags, there's not a lot of laughs or anything. It's just a, it's kind of surreal. It's great. I agree. Well, Ian, I think we've defended the Earth Force. At least this bug attack for this evening will where can we find you should we need to call on your service the next time the uh, bugs attack you can find me eating cheese off the floor of an italian restaurant or you can find me on twitter at hunt270 and you can find me on twitter badly timed drink break uh you can find me on twitter at think gibson and you can find all of our content on youtube um, under the Subpixel channel, honestly, I say this every week, but honestly, it really is the easiest way to get to our YouTube channel, subpixelfilms.com. It's just a redirect. It just takes you to our YouTube channel. If you would like more of our social media content, including our witty uh, repartee in the marketing sphere, uh, I'm not going to lie, Will, I think I did a pretty good tweet today announcing this stream. Yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, yep, just gonna ignore that pause that kind of says the opposite of what you said. No, um, that's great. You know, if I was better at this whole production thing, I would just show that tweet right now, but that would take too long. Um, if you'd like to see that tweet, you can visit our Twitter, our Instagram, or our Facebook at Subpixel Team. That's our handle on all three platforms. Uh, we like to post about upcoming streams, upcoming content, repost or sh reshare content from creators that we support and follow and sometimes collaborate with um, and also just talk about new episodes with scan lines new streams new documentary stuff coming up that's the easiest way to follow us and to kind of get the lowdown and all the subpixel content oh boy 
Speaking of subpixel content, before we go, Will, I'm gonna steal a page out of the Easy Allies playbook. Something they do at the end of every podcast that I really enjoy is they ask somebody on the podcast to shout out a piece of their content, something that they suggest people watch. Uh, so Will, one piece of subpixel content, what would you recommend right here and now? Oh gosh, I hate you. Uh, I would recommend Jake's uh, holiday video where he has his wife name different pokemon he shows her that's a good one very popular with people so go on out there watch that video watch all of our video or maybe just wait around until uh next tuesday where we're either gonna be playing dreams or gunpla depending on how things uh shake out but until then thanks for watching bye, bye.